I am the biggest opposition. I am the problem of a church, and I am going to bring a church down. It shall, it shall, it shall fall. When it falls, go to jail. What's up? My name is Ken Dumbo, the MC with the sauce. Don't forget to subscribe to Jayco. Is this the same a church that we know, or what has that? Who, who witched this guy? <laughs> Is this a church or who, who is who is he living in this guy? Because there is no way this guy can even appoint Savior Masebo. Number one, she's not influential. At the at the mobilizing mobilizing chairperson election, why did she mobilize? Let her go live today. As far as I'm concerned, as far as everybody's concerned, the 2021 election was won on social media. There was no public gathering. And who did the biggest campaign? It is me. I did it. I am the one that did the biggest campaign. Because I am the one that gathered over 30,000 people to watch me speak. A church in his history has never gathered even 5,000. He can't gather 10,000. I did it. And at... at uh, 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 Chairman of mobilization. Is that why you gave her that uh, that uh, po that portfolio? Okay, it's fine. Maybe she has changed, or maybe she will change. She went now. She became. She was a criminal. Now she's an armed robber. She's not armed robber. They are tampering the network. I can see. They are tampering the network because they have seen that Cia One is 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 not somebody who can play. You you say Cia One has finished. 13,000 people are watching me right now. Who in Zambia, who, which political figure in Zambia can pull this number? I am the biggest opposition. I am the problem of a church and I am going to bring a church down. It shall, it shall, it shall fall. And when it falls, go to jail. The number does not like how many people are watching. First broadcast. First broadcast. I'd like to make a one, see one, see one. I'm not idiot to see one, see one. How many people watch it? Let your church go live now and do campaign. Let's see how many people watch it. I am saying, I don't aspire. Many of you are see one has expired. No one will listen to him. No one will listen to me. 13,000 people are watching me. This is not the beginning of it. I am the opposition and I am the one that will bring it down. No one else, because I am the one that put it there. I did the biggest campaign for him. I did all the spiritual work for him. We did all the sacrifices together. I am coming. Forget. You know, let me not go there. So, he appointed Masebo and said, be the minister of, uh, what do you call it? Health. Now, she's an armed robber. She's now looting in billions. And you ask yourself, why is it that upon all this scandal that this woman has committed, why is it that she cannot be fired? Do you know why she cannot be fired? Because HH is involved. Whatever crime and illegal deed that is going on there, HH is involved. Whatever crime, illegal deed that is going on on the Ministry of Agriculture, HH is involved. That's why I love Satan. Satan never involved himself in all these things. Satan was a man, a content, he was content with what he has. He never ran a task. He was not fired. Now, let me show you that the HH, HH can never fight corruption. HH actually is a papa of corruption. I want to show you something from here. I want to show you number one evidence as we proceed. Share the broadcast. Share the broadcast. Share the broadcast quickly. Share the broadcast quickly. I want to show you something here. 
<clears throat> so that those of you that still believe that HH has come to fight corruption for you, you should you should just <laughs> forget it. <laughs> HH is a papa corruption. Papa corruption can never fight corruption. Forget it. Now we came. Uh, yeah, that the church is not going to fire her, even if she's a criminal. So that one, number one, put it aside. The reason why a church will not fire her is because a church got a cut using a young man called Patrick. That is, I'm coming for that one now. Somebody say, talk about JJ Banda. JJ Banda, this is the reason why I say the opposition is not serious. The opposition is stupid. If I'm just looking at you as the opposition, I will not even come and fight HH. You are, you are, you are a bunch of stupid people. So don't even talk about yourself. JJ Banda, two days before they adopted him, he was adopted. They adopted him. I called him. I told him, come to Nigeria. I'm going to show you my chat with him. I said, come to Nigeria. These guys want to adopt you. This guy want to put you in jail. It's better you come to Nigeria here and fight from here. I will give you accommodation. I told him, come. He didn't come. Just like other opposition, Eddie Galung, Fred Membe. These are not serious people. I just want to bring HH down for free, not because of these people. This group of people are not serious people. But I don't want to be provoked. I don't even want to talk about those guys. Let me concentrate on what I'm doing. Don't ask me about opposition again. Those guys are not serious. Now, this guy called uh, uh, the former minister, of, uh, former minister of Foreign Affairs, Stanley Kakobo, sold a mine. Stanley Kakobo sold a mine to a Chinese. To a Chinese. Look at it. Look at it. He sold a mine to the Chinese. This is their agreement. You can read. You can even take screenshot and read it later. That is their agreement today. Okay. Now, in return, the Chinese man bought him this car. It's the wife that drives this car now. The wife of Stanley is the one that drives this car. This is the registration RASA paper for this car. When I tell you that I will, I will destroy UPND, there is details. When I come to the dealing of HH and Patrick and others, that's when you know that Zambia is finished. You will just be crying. You will just be, you just start crying for yourself. Okay. Now, after selling this mine to this Chinese guy, this was the day. This was how payment was done. Stanley Kako. The so-called the angel, the angel for the angel for UPND angel for what do you call it? UPND angel for Foreign Affairs. After the agreement and he became a minister, he now started extorting the people that he stole from, the people that he sold the land, asking for more money, bring more money, bring more money, because he has power. Those people didn't have money again. He, he sold the mine to another person. I mean, in, if HH was serious with corruption, by now, Stanley Kakubo would have been in jail. But do you know what happened? 
when the story came out, they, don't, they didn't know that we have all this information. The information that I have here about UPND. <laughs> you just be following so that you'll be knowing that the press singers, are, I, you, you start feeling sorry for the remaining. But anyway, I know within a few days now, I will, be, I will be able to manage to convert millions of press singers. I will bring them back to their senses. As, as you are watching now, there are over 13,000 people that are watching. Many of them are praise singers. They will come back to their senses. We are the ones that brainwash them. We are the ones that will unbrainwash them. Kakubo, when he was, uh, this story came out. Do you know what HH did? HH called him and said, just step down. How can a leader just step down? If, if somebody from PF, if somebody from opposition, if somebody, if a Bemba person or somebody from Eastern just open mouth and say, a church, he will be arrested. He will be arrested. The Bemba, I mean, Tonga people are good people. Uh, I mean, I've dealt with so many of them. They are, they are welcoming. They love people. But you see, a church, there is something that Kenneth Kaunda said. When that thing came out, I knew that it was true. But I wanted to punish Edigalungu. I wanted Edigalungu out of power. That is why I decided to fight. If not, I knew that HH is just Ponka. 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 No, ponka. Nothing. When this story came out, HH called him and said, my dear, resign. Just step down. He resigned. Do you know what happened? That guy is not in jail today. No one is following him. He's, he's, he's okay. And actually, he has gone to the SEC. They have cleared him. He's an innocent person now. Kakubo Stanley, a criminal. When I'm done with you now, I will go to Jito. Then I'll come to a church. These are the type of people that you call your leaders. Imagine if this crime was committed. If this crime was committed by an opposition. Every government, they are criminals. In every government, they are criminals. But you cannot compare the criminality of a church. To the criminality of Eddie Galung. You cannot. You cannot. Compare the criminality. Of UPND to PF. PF was a group of poor thieves. Poor criminals. Somebody like Bowman Losambo. When I was in Zambia. Bowman Losambo was all over the street. Bowman Losambo was a, a street boy. He didn't have any money. Boman Lusambo was a. Uh, Boman Lusambo was just. I mean, nothing. He didn't have anything. He was a chola boy. PF made him a minister. He became a minister. So when you pick somebody from the street who has never had a million dollars in his hand before, if he steals something like. Uh, if he steals something like a million dollars. To him, it's, it's big money. He will make a lot of noise. That's why it looked like there was a lot of corruption in PF. There was no much corruption. I know how PF were making money. I know how their cadres were making money. Because I was with them before we disappeared. Before we became enemies. Do you know what you happened? In PF, when they give you a contract, they will tell you to say, this is because of this contract. As you make your money, return 10% to our post. Bring 10% to the party. That is why PF, when they were in power, their party was having a lot of money. When you hear Deputy SG, Mumbipiri, there was money. They had money. They sat on millions. Because anyone that won contract, brought a little bit 
into the party. Money was circulating. When they attend burial, people will eat. People will celebrate. If you see them on the road, they are very neat and they are very clean. In PF, they were sharing. They were sharing. When there is a contact, they share the contact among their cadres. Somebody like Matthew Tungu, somebody like uh, John, John Chamber, they, they were sharing. They, I mean, people from the streets, when they see that you are their cadre, you suffer for the party, they will give you one contract. That's how they were making the money. They were not, they were not, like, there was no way you, you, they saw billions and they stole the billions. No, that is how the money was circulated. And all the things that they were stealing, one, one, naira, two, two, naira, nothing. Now we have seen thieves. Thieves, when they finish looting, hey, <laughs> the thieves that swallowed Black Mountain, Black Mountain was swallowed within a space of less than a year in office. Black Mountain that MMD could not finish. PF, after being seven years in power, could not finish it. UPND came into power within two months. <laughs> they swallow it. <laughs> they swallow it. <laughs> you are looking for Black Mountain. The minister of Copper Belt, don't you see that he's pregnant? That is the Black Mountain is there inside his stomach. The minister of mine, Kabusue, that one that is looking like a madman today. Black Mountain is in his is in his tummy. When Etchet came into power, he said, the youths, our Copper Belt youths, I attack Black Mountain. Liar! <laughs> Wufi, liar <laughs> Take Black Mountain Within two months The entire Black Mountain Was swallowed Woo Look at the stomachs <laughs> is that, You are crying Where is our Black Mountain It's inside the church It's stuck it's inside the, uh, 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 what is his name? Uh, uh, Kabusue. It's inside that criminal you call Copper Belt. That is why 2026, by the time they are leaving power, even before them, they will die in jail. I will make sure that that happens. They swallowed the Black Mountain. Criminals. Government of criminals, government of thieves, government of criminals, government of thieves. You are you don't know who Sia One is. I thought you said Sia One has finished. How many people are watching? <laughs> I am the don of power, psychologically sound. Youths that brought you into power. Where are they? What have you done for them? In PF, they were sharing with the youths. The youths were driving good cars. The youths were enjoying. The youths were celebrating. The youths were dealing, going at least going to Black Mountain and so on to collect. Now, within a few days, you pn the Everything has gone. It's in people's stomach. Few individuals. Not as if it's circulating. I wish what they are looting is circulating. Let the Akadas eat. If you look at the Akadas, you can see that there is extreme poverty. Extreme poverty. If you go to UPND Secretariat, you can cry. It looks like a, it looks like a funeral. A party power. Why? Because everyone is a criminal. And not just being a criminal, they are greedy. Whatever they store, few people pocket it in their stomach. Boom. <laughs> but in PF, they were giving. Everybody, youths, take, take. The only problem that, you, that PF 
and they dig along Gumed was Kadarism. Kadarism. Apart from Kadarism, nothing else. Those guys were okay. And another problem they made was to declare war with me, like I've declared with the UPN. It doesn't go well. I've never lost a battle. I'm telling you, ah, there is no opposition in Zambia. There is no... <laughs> By the time I joined UPND, UPND was finished already. Their uh, 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 SG, Mr. Charles Kakoma, resigned. Uh, Chamin resigned. Many of them resigned because they didn't see hope in UPND. I came in. And today they are in power. Today they are in power. So it's not all about opposition. After this broadcast, I'm going to have a meeting with all the opposition leaders. I'm going to call them. We are going to come together. Even if we decide to present Mulio Keda to, compare, to, to compete with HH, he will win. Because we shall do the campaign. Who is? Those people that you put to talk about CR1. Uh, CR1. And uh, CR1. There is no Godfather. Sick. 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 There is no Godfather. How does that concern you? That is my belief. It's my spiritual belief. If I touch the. It's just. I'm still coming to the side of HH. I've not touched his own. I've not touched his community house. He knows. Once I've, to, I've talked about Patrick Siabasimbi, HH knows that I'm holding him here. And I'm going to bring out document to prove to you that, guys, you are finished. PF was better thieves, better criminals. Because you know what was happening? Whatever they stole, they were spending in the country. These ones are international criminals and useless criminals. Whatever they stole, is leaving the country. Anything they steal, pack on the jet outside the country. Anything they steal outside the country. Anything they steal outside the country. Fake report says that over 13 billion has left the country. Over 13 billion, oh, over 13 billion. Hey, for the first time in the history of Zambia. Over 13 billion has left the country. Over! Meaning, this is the PF was better because when they stole, they, they were investing in the country. They were eating in the country. At least, people were eating with them. People were enjoying with them. These ones, they are cursed. They are cursed. Akaso. 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 They are cursed. They have billions. They, want nice food. they have billions. They will not eat proper food. They have billions. They will not drive proper car. They are cursed. They are dirty in nature. All the billions they steal from Zambia, they take it abroad. They are not using it. Other people are using it to their country. Other people are using it to develop their country. Other people are using it to develop their country. Why people are suffering in Zambia? Now, I'm going, I will show you how HH moved that money. We'll use it and many other people. Please don't call me. 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 Now, please tell me if you are hearing me, if the network is beginning to shake. It's beginning to shake. So, now, this is between them and PF. You can't the two. PF are poor criminals. And whatever they stole, they were excited. These guys are cursed criminals. Whatever they stole is going outside the country. It's going outside the country. It's go from community house. I'll show you. See, <laughs> uh, one, they thought you were finished. Yes, they, they, they thought I was finished. One of them said, if CR1 go live, you will not even have up to 5,000 5, people. Are you mad? I am the dawn of power. I am the dawn of power. I decide today. I mean, look at the amount of people that are, By the time this video gets to three days, more than 10 million people will watch this video. How many people are in Zambia? That's how we campaign for HH. 
No one listening to radio again. No one actually watch television again. Everyone is on Facebook. Everyone is on Facebook. And who is the engineer on Facebook? Who, who is the master? It's me. No one else. That is why, as we proceed, the opposition, I have declared war today. And my war is that it must go. Many of you we are afraid that you are the opposition because I'm not here for you. I love you now. I want us to work together. We started working together already. But I don't know you, you became afraid. Ah, if we put hand on paper now, uh, say I want to use it against us. Are you mad? In politics, you need fools like us. Uh, because the people that vote are fools. Educated people don't vote. Uh, uh, intelligent people don't vote. We are the ones that do politics. We know how to talk to the voters. We know how to manipulate a, a results. Which we did for Aka in the Echilema. But that's the story for another day. Opposition. I'm giving you between this week that we are entering. This week that we are entering. I want to see you here. I want to see you here. Let us sit down and make an agreement. You think I'm fighting for you without an agreement? No. I, I, HH is the one that told me to say, go ahead and fight. Before I started fighting. It's, you just went out. Ah, see, man, many of us, see, will not go there. They have bribed him. No one, who is, who bribed me? When I tell you that it's over for you, it's over. This week that we are in, let them come here. Let us sit down and start campaign. There is no time at all. Whether I, I, I sat with, I sat with, with them. I mean, I was leading the war front for the opposition. All of a sudden, they became afraid. See, I want to betray us. Who will betray you? Did I, did I betray you, PND? I'm tired of UPND. The people of Zambia are tired of UPND. They are tired of corruption of HH. Now they want change. And let me tell you, without me, you will not get that change. You, the evidence is here. You, who will go live here today? Eddie Galungu, Fred Mbembe. Who will go live and gather over 13, over 14,000 Zambians in one broadcast, first broadcast? By the time we are progressing and getting to, towards the election, we'll be having 100,000 people watching. The first broadcast I did against PF, it was only 2,000 people that watched. So you can't take it from me. If this week I don't see you here, remove me. I'm out. I'm out. I will not, you will never hear me talk about politics. And without me, HA to put all of you in jail. And actually, you can't talk from Zambia. If you talk from Zambia, they will put you in jail. But I am the one that will put a church where he belongs. It's only me. No one else can do it. No one else can do it. So don't be fools. Don't be stupid. Don't think that I see a one is a fool. I can just wake up and start fighting a church without agreement. No. You must put hand on paper. So that tomorrow, if you deny to say see a one didn't help us, like you PN is denying, I will have evidence to prove to people that I helped you. That you put hand on paper. If you are not if you are not serious, then you must do things on your own. I am here for you from the bottom of my heart. When you came here, I accepted you. On the phone call chat, I accepted you. If you think that Sia One will betray you at the end, where is my reputation? I am addressing over 13, 14,000 people at the same time. They are watching me. Where is my integrity if I decide to support you and turn around and support you, PND? Without me, you, you are not going anywhere. Without me. You will not win election. That one is guaranteed. You can try it and see if it will work. It will not work. I am the orator 
of the election. So remove fear from yourself. And by the way, politics is a dirty game. It's a game of risk. You must take risk. You must take risk. Not when they tell you, ah, see, our one is a, is a in-law to a church. See, our one is a brother to a church. See, our one, because see, our one is a related to a church. And then you say, ah, I cannot. You are a fool. Politics is business. A church can be my, my brother. A church can be anything. But so long as he, he decided to do what he's not supposed to do. He will go. He will go. I've given HH enough time. I gave him enough time. Before I came public to make declaration that HH is going. I'm going to share with you some idiots that say, Ah, see, I is a nobody. I, I will share with you the reason why. I was not fighting. The other time I wanted to come live. I didn't come live. Many of you, especially the opposition that was something that we agreed. Ah, see, one is a betrayer. He can't be trusted. Number one, the reason why I didn't go live. One, my young brother was in Zambia. King Jacoban. He was in Zambia. And because... I, I, the state, I, I have been dealing with the state. They are aware that my brother was there. And I know that if I decide to fight them, they may hurt my brother. That is number one. Number two, the government sent a representative to come here for dialogue. And we are dialoguing. Number three, the opposition came before the government and we agree on what must be done. They went and started behaving like a woman in a, in a labor room that doesn't know that if he's giving birth to a boy or a girl. What do you want me to do? The opposition is not serious. Government is willing to, to negotiate. My young brother is there. What do you want me to do? I sat down and listened to the government. That night that I was supposed to go live, I was at the hotel with government people, the people that they sent here. And whatever we agreed on was not done. Before they came, it was first the opposition that came. Whatever we agreed on was not done. What do you want me to do? Am I a fool that I go and start fighting the government? Just like the one I'm doing now. This is the last time that you hear me fight this government. If the opposition is not serious. You must come in agreement. I am a big guy. I am the number one campaigner. You can see it with evidence. Number does not lie. How many people are watching? I am a big guy. If you co convert all the people that are watching me, 14,000 people, you carry them to put them at Woodland Stadium. Can Woodland Stadium ac accommodate them? Woodland Stadium can only take 5,000 to 3,000 people. But over 13, 14,000 people turned in and watching me at the same time. Meaning I'm the largest campaigner. So if you want to deal with me, don't just call me on phone. See, I want to go live. Go live your father or your mother. Go live to do what? This one I did is because I have decided on my own to bring down HH. But if the opposition is not serious, you must go to hell. HH must do to you what he wants. Remove fear. Let us fight and remove him. If you put fear, it will not happen. And this takes me to the, 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 the chiefs. So, uh, uh, Luapula chiefs, Eastern Province chiefs, uh, 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 Northern chiefs, you are saboteurs, you are cowards, you are, I don't want to insult you so much, but learn something from the Tonga chiefs. Tonga chiefs support their subjects. The problem with you, Bembas, is you like quick money. You like quick money. If government gives you one naira, you pocket it. 
they buy you with one naira. That's why they are building toilet for you, calling them palaces. Toilet. There is one they are building in Chongwe. Toilet. That's what they are calling palace. I looked at it. I wanted to cry. Toilets. Hey, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Toilets. That's what the, the UPN government is building for the kings. And they are calling them palaces. And you accept it because they are cowards. You are chiefs of northern chiefs of uh, 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 you are cowards I'm telling you take this from C1 you cannot stand up for your subjects when HH was arrested while he was in opposition the southern chiefs did not rest Chief Mukini was going to prison to go and sleep, to go and make noise. Because his subject is in the prison. His subject is in the prison. Chief Monse was fighting every blessed day to have a church removed from prison. Your subjects are being taken to prison like chicken and you are just seated and doing nothing. Why are you chiefs? Do you know the reason why you are called chiefs? It's because you have traditional powers. A president is supposed to bow for you. They are arresting your children. JJ is now in prison. I don't feel pity for him because I told him to come. He, re he refused. I think he, was, I think he was afraid. I think he was afraid. I said, come. It is time. The time is now. It is now. He's in prison. And the chiefs, the chiefs are watching. You, you cannot go and make noise. A church will not do anything to you. Remove fear from yourself. Be like Chief Mukuni. Many of you are admiring Chief Mukuni today. Chief Mukuni now is a billionaire. He's making deals with the government. If he tells you this land is my own today, you will not do anything because he's now in government. And you are admiring him. Many of you are attending his tradition uninvited. You are worshipping them. Why? Because they are united. And they are not cowards. They are not cowards. They are willing to stand up for their children. The chief of JJ, your boy has been in prison without justice. And you are seated. What are you doing on that throne? What are you doing on that throne? Stand up. Go and fight for your subject. Go and ask a church to release your subject. Now they have, they have nullified the seats for another of your subject. You are seated. What are you doing on that thing that you call palace? If you cannot stand up, be like Chief Mukuni. Be a warrior. You can never eat if you didn't plant. You can never win. If you didn't fight. Rise up and fight. Rise up and fight. Fight for your people. Fight for your children. Say enough is enough. Tell a church. Enough is enough. You are not doing anything. You are just relaxed. I'm a chief. What are you chiefing for? That's why people don't respect chiefs in Zambia. They don't respect you. Especially chiefs from Eastern Province. Mpe, uh, Chief Mpezeni. Is it Mpezeni or what? What are you doing there? Chiefs from uh, Luapula. What are you doing? Can't you see what? You don't want to be like Chief Mukuni. When PF was in power, Chief Mukuni feared no one. Arrest a church. He will go there. Arrest me and HH. He will fight for HH in prison there. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, J Cool, and turn on the notification bell because I'm going to see you in the next video.